Andy, I, I, I eat my words. He did very, very well to get out of the way and there. Katayama's right up with him now. Jos Verstappen is going to pay for that because Katayama got the momentum. They're, they are battling well down the field, of course, Verstappen and Katayama for 20th position, but that's just as important to them, their battle, as this one is to Michael Schumacher and Jacques Villeneuve as they come up now to Norberto Fontana, who is the Argentinian driver, and he's between. Now, this is going to help Schumacher because Fontana has let Schumacher through and he's balking, inadvertently, I hope, Jack Villeneuve. Well, that's always the problem that I mentioned. You let one through and that's it. They pull back onto line and they almost have to reset the computer before they're ready to let the next one through. And look how much time that's cost Villeneuve. As Fontana moves out of the way, Villeneuve moves behind him in staying. order to get the slipstream, and now he breaks on the clean side of the track and goes through. That's cost him dearly. Meanwhile, Frentzen sets a new fastest lap back there in fifth place. Now he's got the new tyres of a 123.1. Case of champagne from Ferrari to Sauber for Norberto Fontana because the Argentinian newcomer up from Formula 3 really, really helped Michael Schumacher on his way there. What engine have they got in that Sauber, Murray? Uh, Isn't it a Ferrari? Yeah, well, it is, yes. <laughs> Martin, you are a cynical chap. Lap 31, lap 31, coming up the... <laughs> Coming up to half distance, Michael Schumacher now. Let's see what the gap is. It was under one second, eight tenths of a second. Now he's been held up by Fontana. He crosses the line. Frenson is now on a roll, fastest man of all. And the gap has gone up to over three seconds. So that's what Fontana cost Jack Milner, nearly three seconds.